We have no maps without the maps that came before. Lift one map of the body and find another. Navigating back, mapping through. The body, my body, is a stacked atlas of memory. If we think the middle of our lives are flat, we mistake surface for substance. The infrastructure of that sharp black ink stings worse than I imagined it could. I came here to pull all my maps to the surface. Most of us carry the past around with us like a pop-up city. Turn a page and an old city springs to life. It's never the alabaster city that returns, not all progress and dream. No, it's always the naked city, six million stories, all of them gray and open in my chest as I drive down Lake Street in summer, the liquor store lights streaking my face orange and yellow in the rearview mirror, the windows of Robert's shoes, hardly a foot we can't fit, wild with the motion of a hundred dancing sneakers, pastel pimp loafers, work boots with twine-colored ties. Look at our city, Linnea says, and she does not mean a body split down the center, does not mean our youth before us or behind us. All she means is this is the city where we live. All cities are really double cities, the city itself and another city, the city of possibility, a projection of the real, the manifestation, part practical, part erotic, of what we wish for in our lives. Maps are made of more than facts, are histories of what we've believed, loved, feared, as well as who we actually were. If memory overlays and underlays the present, things that once happened here might reside in the tall weeds at the side of the road, or they might be mixed up like dust and pollen in the wind itself, or maybe not. Mm -hmm.